Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from a different angle of my room. Got my cute kitchen, bathroom, bed. Um, I just want to start my videos. With, it's a bit weird, but I want to start my videos with appreciation for hot men. So I'm just going to put some pictures up of some guys that I think are really good looking. Let me know below if you think they're hot. Alright, I know that's a bit weird, but I just want to show some appreciation for good looking men. Is there something wrong with that? I just wanted to talk about a topic that you've probably heard before on other channels about are you gay if you are attracted to transgender women? Um, now I just wanted to bring a slightly different approach to this topic and conduct an experiment um, with the audience. So I just wanted to say like, no, you're not gay if you're attracted to a transgender woman. And it's really quite simple. I don't know why this gets so complicated for, um, in particular, cisgender women will accuse men of being gay if they are attracted to trans women because they think just because you've got a penis, it means that the man must be gay. But it's actually a lot no, it's not that simple. So clearly a gay guy would not be attracted to this. Why would a gay guy be attracted to someone with boobs, a female voice, a female face? Gay men want a man, not a female. And I think that the um, people get confused because they think, well, you've got a penis, so they must be gay. It's not that simple. What I've learnt recently is that uh, genitals are not, it's hard to put this in words, but it's what we are, I think as humans, what we are actually attracted to is the femininity or the masculinity of the person, not necessarily the genitals. That is a deal breaker for a lot of people, but I've found that it is not actually a deal breaker for a lot of men, straight men who have come on to me in a bar or online not realizing that I'm transgender and pre-op and then their mind just goes into this kind of like well I find you attractive but you've got a penis and then the brain just does this ping pong kind of thing and then most of them actually don't seem to have an issue with it but they do have an issue dating someone with a penis but sexually it's kind of exciting for them I have had guys say, look, I'm not into trans, I'm not into penis, that stuff. Totally fine. But a lot of guys have just been like, well, I find you attractive and I want to experiment. So you become a kind of experiment for them. And I have got with guys before who are experimenting with you and they're really into it until they come. And then they're like, you can see the guilt and you can see their mind thinking, am I gay, blah, blah, blah. And I can tell they're having some issues. So I, I just sit there and say, hey, look, you're not gay. I, I just read their mind straight away, like a book. And just say, you're not gay, don't worry about it. Do not go away feeling guilty. Um, this is perfectly normal. There are so many guys, straight guys that are into this. And they're like, really, I didn't know. It's like, they didn't know that a lot of straight guys are attracted to trans girls because we're feminine. I sort of become like an armchair um, therapist for them. And one thing I do say to put them at ease is, are you attracted to men? Instant answer, most all of them have said is, no, I'm not. I'm not attracted to men. Then I say, you're not gay, so do not worry, okay? I then say, do I look like a man? And they're like, no, you don't. And then I say, well, you're not gay, so don't worry about it. And generally, it's fine. Um, my main um, area that I've had problems with, trying to get people to understand this, that if you're attracted to a trans or have been with a trans woman and you're not gay, are cisgender woman or genetic woman. I find them to be the most bigoted of the the group of um, general society they seem to have the biggest problem dealing with this and I'm not sure if it's because they see us as a threat in some way or that they themselves feel like they're having to question 
what men are attracted to and their view of the world changes because of that it is mind-blowing to a lot of majority of people I've lived with this my whole life I've I've got a very open mind clearly because I've done something that most people will never do so to me this is not shocking so I just have to remember that a genetic woman's life is not that complicated in terms of dealing with concepts like this so of course they're going to be questioning a lot about you know the guy that I'm seeing is he gay because he had a transgender um, encounter or my brother is dating a trans girl is he gay you know and it's like no they're not gay get over it if they were gay they would date a man and it really is this simple if you are gay you are attracted to men i am not a man even though i was born male it, i am not a man i do not look like a man or sound like a man so a gay man ain't going to want to have sex with me a gay man is going to want to have sex with a man so that is it guys that is how simple this whole thing is now I'm just gonna blow your mind okay if you're a cisgender genetic woman or a, um, a man watching this who is confused about how can someone be attracted to a transgender woman and not be gay like how okay so I'm just gonna conduct an experiment on you right now this experiment will show you that you are attracted to the femininity or the masculinity not the genitals necessarily yes it can be a deal breaker for a lot of people but what I'm about to do will show you that your mind is going to have a bit of a confusion when it when I show you this and it's also going to question you're going to question yourself a bit and hopefully it opens your mind up as well that hey I was wrong this has shown me that it is not necessarily the genitals it is everything that comes together that I'm attracted to so those images I showed you at the beginning they're actually transgender men okay so yes they're attractive and you were probably like oh wow he's cute um, if he's your type but those were actually those men were born female so for the uh, straight genetic woman watching this video right now what do you think are you lesbian because you thought this guy was attractive who was born a female and became a male through testosterone that person if we this person we are looking at right now all these people were born female and yes it's okay to be attracted to them they have vaginas not penises so you could walk past someone like this on the street and think they're really hot and you would have no idea that that was actually a female so the feelings you initially had when you saw those attractive men is the same thing that a straight man has when they see someone like me I'm not being arrogant but when a straight man looks at a transgender woman that they are attracted to they're not assuming that that woman has a penis and when they find out that the woman has a penis their brain kind of goes well I'm still attracted I'm not gay but I like the look of this person you probably had the same reaction oh my god that man has a vagina but I find them attractive um, and then you know so this actually happened to me um, not that long ago I was looking at some images online and I saw a man I thought was attractive and I clicked on it and was shocked to see that this man was a female to male transgender man so he had a vagina what I was experiencing at that moment was the exact same thing that men straight men who see a transgender woman for the first time and unfortunately it's usually through porn they I got this sense of like I'm not into woman I'm actually not into woman at all I would throw up if I got with a woman I'm just only into men but here I am looking at a transgender man a man with a vagina and yet I'm attracted to them so I can honestly say that I'm firm in my belief that I am a straight female 
I am only attracted to men. But just because I'm attracted to female to male, a male that has a vagina, does not make me interested in women. It doesn't change me in any way. If I was given the opportunity to have a intimate encounter with someone like Cindy Crawford when she was in her heyday or Al McPherson, I would say no thanks, I would rather just have a coffee with them and chat. I am not interested in women whatsoever. However, if I went on a date with a man who I found really attractive and then he said I'm actually a transgender man so I was born female but I have a vagina and I'm a male now, I would be really turned on and yet I would turn away the most beautiful woman in the world. So I, this is the same for a straight man. They would find a trans woman attractive because she's feminine. But if you said, hey, here's the most attractive male model in the world, that man would say, no thanks, I'm not interested. They are straight, end of story. And just like you saw that picture of the man who I told you was born female, you're not a lesbian suddenly at all. So I've just let you walk through the process yourself as to what a straight man goes through when they see a transgender woman. So you've experienced it now. Now you can see the point of view from a different angle. Hopefully you may be confused and not understand anything I'm saying right now, but I just can't get through to some people. Um, so end of day, a straight man attracted to a transgender woman is not going to go to a gay club and get with a man. Not happening. He is only interested in women. So I'm just talking to the genetic women out there that have been confused by this. Don't feel threatened by a transgender woman. Um, don't feel that you need to question everything. They're just straight. All right, guys, i um, going to leave my video there. Uh, yeah. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.